conversation. All right. All right. So thanks, everybody, for joining us for uh, Community Cooking with the Co-op, starring uh, Outreach Coordinator at the Coos Head Food Cop, Jamar Ruff. Yes. Hello. Hey, Jamar. Um, woo, sorry, we had some tech difficulties. I'm throwing off a little. Plus, I had to drive to Eugene and back today, so um, I'm just getting my bearings. But I'm excited to see how these kimchi pancakes with Asian slaw go. So I'm just going to turn it over to Jamar so he can talk more about that. Hey, okay, so first off, I have to be like, whoo, you know, <laughs> like technical difficulties and also working in the kitchen, those are like, that happens, you know, <laughs> those are things that happen and it's like, okay, let's shake it off, we're in the kitchen, this is all of our happy place, happy Thursday, everyone, <laughs> okay, so um, today's recipe is called kimchi pancakes, so I have been seeing these all over the web. You know, I'm like, oh, I need to do this. We need to do this. So um, I went, I sat down, and I was like, okay, I'm writing the recipe. We went into the test kitchen, and this is what we came up with. Uh, we're going to do an Asian slaw. So this meal, the kimchi pancakes include making the kimchi pancake, but then also include an Asian slaw. And we're gonna like do a quick pickle because we're using um, the rice vinegar with that. So we're gonna do our Asian slaw first. So that way, by the time we're finished with our pancake, that is, we're ready to go. Cool. Okay, so um, what I did was I have already pre-sliced pre my cabbage and I can show you. I grabbed a lot because you know, I'm not just cooking for me, I'm cooking for the staff here at the co-op. So, I'm sure they expect it now. Uh, they do, they do. So this is how I have mine um, cut. Great. But I'm gonna cut along with y'all because when you cut cabbage, cabbage has this thing right here that makes it really, really hard um, to kind of cut. So I, what I do is I make a V at the bottom, right where they pull it out. So that way I'm not, I'm taking that part out and I'm putting in my compost, and this is how it looks when I do that. Oh, nice. So this is what I'm removing, the core that's in it, the stem. <laughs> oh, you're just getting the core out? Yes. Cool. And I'm putting it in my compost, and then I'm going to cut it in half. Then cut it in half. And then I'm going to turn it to the side, and I'm going to cut slow. So Valley Flora brought this cabbage in today, and it's just so good. Not only yeah. does it really good, but it's like, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm going for that one. Awesome. And, and I don't know if everybody knows, but up in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you should be able to switch back and forth from like gallery to speaker view. Uh, to speaker view, you'll see more of Jamar in speaker view, and more of the rest of us in gallery view. And so. What I'm gonna do is, as I'm chopping, I'm putting my cabbage in here. So, and then the Asian slaw, it, the vegetable that we're gonna be prepping is the shredded carrots. And you can just finally slice your carrots, but because they roll, be really careful with your knife and carrot, okay? So, um, don't lose a finger. <laughs> please don't. I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> So I have my um, cabbage. I'm also going to put my, I'm doing a half a cup of shredded carrots in there and then a teaspoon of garlic. So I'm using fresh garlic. And so I'm gonna finally slice that. Mm. Normally I go overboard with garlic and I'm surprised that I'm only using a little bit of garlic tonight. You sure you got enough? No. What do you have a date tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you can go light then. All right. Um, so I have I'm putting my garlic, I'm sprinkling that over in my this makes me like really happy because this is something that you can always do, a coleslaw, and just make it differently. My dad's favorite thing is coleslaw, so how he makes it, he makes it the same way every time. And so whenever I get a chance to make it, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to do what I want to do. <laughs> so I'm going to put my garlic 
So now, um, one bunch of cilantro. I chopped up, I finally sliced the um, cilantro because it's just really like one of those great flavorful um, items to incorporate into this and it makes it really airy. So fine chop the cilantro. Cilantro in the slaw, nice. A whole bunch of cilantro though, that's- You don't have to do a whole bunch. Okay. Remember, you can make this your own recipe. Okay. <laughs> You're like, uh-uh. I mean, Patrick would love it, but I'm an I'm on the like less lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna split it. Yeah, meet in the middle. Meet in that's what meet in the middle. So I have my cilantro in there, and now I am going to do um, my fresh garlic. Um, not garlic, but my fresh ginger. So fresh ginger. Anybody have any questions at this point? Feel free to jump in and ask. If I'm moving too slow, please tell me, Jamar, slow it down. <laughs> we're, we're not going here until everybody catches up and finishes their kimchi pancakes. I have a question. Go okay. ahead, Susan. Um, I want to go off script, and instead of using uh, green onions, I want to use chopped up fennel. Go ahead. Does that sound okay? That's Do it. Right. Okay. Okay. Jamar approves. <laughs> hey, when it comes to food, there's really not too much I want to prove. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm using my hands just because, hey. <laughs> it smells really good. Like once you have like the cilantro with the garlic, I bet. Beer, it just smells really, really awesome. So from there, now I'm going to start adding in my um, liquid. So what kind of liquid are you adding? Um, so the first um, liquid that I am adding is two tablespoons of rice vinegar. So two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And then I am doing a teaspoon of sesame oil. And I'm using toasted sesame oil. So anytime that we're participating, you're participating in cooking with community and you see all of the things that are laid out in front of you, those are different ideas of how you can make this your own. Cool. Awesome. And if you want to add a little bit more um, sesame oil, you in. All right. How much was that? A teaspoon, Jamar? Yeah. A teaspoon. It's a teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay. So now, because... was is that toasted sesame oil? Yeah, I use toasted. You can if it's they come in two different versions. So if you want to use the um, the non toasted, you can as well. Good question. And then Wendy asked if she could make it with purple cabbage. I don't see why not. Of course you can. That I actually have a purple cabbage right there. And typically whenever you go into your grocery store, you can always don't get intimidated by a whole cabbage. You can always ask your produce clerk like, hey, can you cut that in half for me, please? And they'll do it. Yeah. 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 Don't be intimidated by cabbage. Okay. So, uh, Those are great words to live by, Paul. Totally. <laughs> so I'm only starting with a little bit. Like I have a measuring spoon, and it's a fourth of a teaspoon. But I'm shaking half of that out until I at least taste it. And remember, we are tasting our food as we're going. Now, don't forget to have that tasting spoon on hand. Hey, Jamar, what was that that you just put in there? A little salt. Salt? Oh. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Could you define a little for us? Um, like, start out with the pinch. So I did a fourth of a teaspoon, right? A fourth of a teaspoon, but I shook half of it out because nine times out of ten, people are already going to, to salt their food. 
So it's in by us taping it, whatever works best for your taste bud. Some people are like, mm, no, I'm not gonna add any salt, but I would like to add a little bit more salt and sesame. That's not good. Yeah. Mm. This just makes me so happy. I've been looking forward to this all day, actually. <laughs> so, okay. So me too. <laughs> so, I'm going to put that to the side. Put that there right there. And clean off my station. We're going to clean as we go. <laughs> so, that way, like, once everything is done, the only thing you have to worry about is sitting down and enjoying this wonderful meal. Sounds good to me. So, is everybody at a good good stopping point? Are you tasting your um, your slaw? How's everybody's slaw? Seeing a lot of thumbs up. Good, yes. Good, thank you. I think we're doing good. I saw Jim like, woo! <laughs> okay, so now the mushroom <laughs> crust. So I I had when we first worked up this recipe here at the co-op. We did not like sweat our mushrooms and it just made it taste a little bit different than what we're used to. So um, as we're working up the batter um, for our kimchi pancake, we're gonna start actually like prepping our mushrooms to sweat those in the saute pan. And it's gonna be on low heat, at least like medium heat. So saucepan on low or medium? Yeah. Um, you can, on medium. On medium heat, all right. On medium, because we're sweating our mushrooms. Just so that way, mushrooms hold so much moisture in them. Cool. Okay. And so the recipe does call for, where's my mushroom? A half, a half a cup. Jamar, Jamie asked, uh, what size are the mushrooms chopped into? So I am Here he jumps. passing the button, so. Up a little, up a little with the hand. Oh, there you go. Cool. Thank you, sir. And so the mushrooms do not have to be like precise. They can be like a rough chop on your mushroom. What was that, Jen? Is this one of the pans that we are uh, yes. supposed to be using, or is this a new pan? Oh, a new pan. One oh, of the that's pans. okay. I'm just arranging my stove appropriately. Oh, okay. Good question. So that's for a new pan. Okay. And that we um, are going to be using. I don't know why I have this weird smile on my face. Because <laughs> you're it's making only, food. It's only mushrooms. Mushrooms are not supposed to do this to me. But they're, uh, I'm already excited. So um, when I was looking at this, I was like, oh, like this is just like really simple, straight to the point food that is just, that you can enjoy. Plus it involves kimchi and pancakes. Yes. And Jen said you're awesome. <laughs> hey. You are awesome too, my friend. No, no, kimchi, pancakes, and coleslaw with fresh cabbage. You can't go wrong there. Hey, not just fresh cabbage, but local cabbage. Mm -hmm. never go. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is because we're putting in a medium, we're cooking it on medium heat. Please keep your mushrooms uh, moving around. And if they look like they, um, and if it, if it looks like a little bit too heat, too hot, because I have my pan heating up and I just do it in a hot pan. <laughs> but um, if, your, if your pan looks a little bit too hot, you can lower the heat. Cool. You just want to slow them a little bit. Jamar, do we, put, do we put oil or anything in the pan with the mushrooms? Oh, no. No, because no. the, the moisture is going to come out of the mushroom. Okay. You're sweating them. 
but keep them moving around. Thank you, Zion. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we're off. Okay, so while the mushroom is over there, I have my big pan, a, a mixing bowl. So get your big mixing bowl. Get a bowl. Did, did you leave the mushrooms on medium heat? Yeah. Okay. But if they're sticking, once you move them around, get them a little comfortable in there, you'll start looking at the mushrooms bubbling up. And what happens when they start bubbling up? Well, that just means that it's sweating. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> that just means that they're being sweated and the moisture that um, mushrooms hope have in them, they're going, it's going away. You can tell I sweat a lot of mushrooms. You know what? <laughs> it, it's something that, hey, like someone suggested it one time. I was like, what are you talking about? But it made a huge difference. You know, it made a huge difference. In oh, I bet. I can see that. It does sort of look like you're in the sauna there, Paul. <laughs> I, I, somebody else said that the other day. I think it was Jamar. <laughs> Are you at the spa? I wish. No, it's just one wall of this room. <laughs> OK, so I think someone said that they did not have um, potato starch. Yes, I think that might have been Alicia. OK, so with that, um, let's do, I would do two cups of two cups of flour and then um, two, two eggs, just to make sure that it binds and everything like that, OK? And we do it. have, I, I, um, I normally do Alicia's curved side. So we do have um, potato starch in bowl. Yep. Here at the co-op. So Excellent. what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm measuring, as my mushrooms are sweating, I am going to start measuring out um, a cup of potato starch and a cup of flour. Excellent. Cup of potato starch, cup of flour. Okay, and then the recipe calls for a cup of kimchi. I'm a cup of what? Kimchi? Yes, a cup of kimchi. I'm going to use the Cindy Oh, it smells so yummy. Are you putting it in the mixing bowl? Yes. So the, oh, okay. So that's the kimchi is going to be incorporated. And if your kimchi, some kimchi, some, some manufacturers, when they produce kimchi, some of them leave them in the lettuce form. Some of them leave them thinly sliced. Like, um, Cindy yeast is radish kimchi. So what I do is, if, it, if they're not really already sliced up, I will give them another chop. Okay, and for the mushrooms. Okay, so I'm gonna incorporate, now I'm pouring in my kimchi in my mixing bowl. Uh, okay, sorry. Now I am gonna add um, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. What was that, a fourth of a teaspoon? Yeah, and I always start out small with salt because it's just, you know, if, if you're making something and then it's just like, if it's too salty, you probably won't ever wanna try the recipe again. Right. And then I am going to add a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, um, a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and then I have um, two teaspoons of toasted, two teaspoons of, well, sorry, no, a half a teaspoon of sesame seeds. That last one was sesame seeds, right? Yeah. Check your mushrooms. Yeah, don't forget to check your mushrooms. Hey, oh, this just looks so lovely. 
<laughs> nice. So um, now I'm gonna do a one and a fourth cup of veggie stock. One and a quarter? Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay, and then I'm gonna do two teaspoons of olive oil. I'm using olive oil, whichever oil you would prefer works. Did you say two tablespoons or teaspoons? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of olive oil or whatever oil you're using. I always, like on the recipe, I always put in, not the recipe, the ingredients list, I always put in different options because everyone, some people um, cook differently. And so I don't want to limit, limit y'all. So if it's something that y'all are like, I don't really like olive oil or I prefer only cooking with olive oil. You have those options. Now I'm gonna turn my I'm gonna turn my mushrooms off. Okay, turn your turn your mushrooms off. And so I have one bunch of green onions. I already have them pre pre cut, and I did a finely I did a finely chopped. Oh, the green onions, cool. Yeah. Thank you. And so it calls for one bunch. But what I'm going to start out with, because we're going to be using them as garnishes for the salad, I'm going to start out with a, um, with at least three tablespoons out of a bunch. And they're heaping tablespoons, by the way. How, where is every, how is everybody feeling? How's everybody doing? Any questions? Questions? Mm -hmm. Lots of thumbs up, seeing lots of stirring. I think we're doing good. Okay. Yeah, and y'all don't forget, if you don't like something in the ingredients, feel free to ask Jamar whether it's here live or ahead of time, you know, about substitutes. He's always got a substitute for them. Okay, now I'm going to add my mushroom. Add the shrooms to the mix. I think we're redefining pancakes here. Okay, so now everybody's looking real busy. <laughs> It smells so good. Oh man, I'm getting hungry. Jamar, did we put in, um, I know you said the two teaspoons of olive oil or whatever oil, but also two teaspoons of sesame oil? No, I haven't put mine in yet, but you can go ahead. I, was, I just wanted to get it mixed up and then I'm going to add my um, sesame oil in. Okay, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. So folks can go ahead and add the sesame oil now? Yes. Okay. Perfect timing, Jackie. Ours is very dry. Yours is very dry? Do you have more yeah. veggie stock? Do I have what? More veggie, have more stock? veggie stock? Add more? Okay. Um, yeah, I've got better, more. Because you, add, because you didn't have the potato starch, so at least do like one cup of um, veggie stock, but add it slowly okay. until it reaches the right consistency. And I'll show you what that is. Okay. Yeah, so Jamie was saying uh, her and Dana's is kind of wet. At their, so they're wondering what consistency should it be now? Here he comes. So this is how it's gonna look. Oh, so it's pretty wet. Yeah. Okay. It looks like pancake batter. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. How much sesame oil again, Jamar? Um, I did two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Good yeah. question. So is the olive oil for the frying or for the batter? I put 
put it in the batter. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then should we be preheating our pans for? Yes. Okay. That's the next step. Yep. And so what I'm gonna do is with my with my um with my frying pan, I'm gonna already get it a little start preheating it, and then I'm gonna add some olive oil in the bottom just to coat the bottom of it. So start preheating your uh, frying pan and just put enough olive oil in there to coat it, right, Jamar? Yeah, to coat the bottom. Just to coat the bottom. I once quoted quite myself to like the world's best pancake maker, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that tonight because you know, sometimes the first pancake never comes out how we want it to come out. Good excuse to make more. Right. <laughs> Okay, yes, definitely. So Jamar, could one eat these pancakes with hot sauce? Yes, but what about sriracha? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's a hot sauce. Add to the garlic. Right. <laughs> It smells really good. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna eat it while when it's not cooked. <laughs> Alicia, how are y'all doing? <laughs> she has. Okay, okay. She's got her sriracha. Good job. <laughs> Alicia, who's your friend? That is her daughter. Do we have a name? Come here, you wanna come introduce yourself? No, introduce yourself. They wanna know your name. I'm Maxie. Maxie? Hi. Nice to Lexi. meet you, Maxie. Thanks for joining us. You're doing an yes. awesome job tonight. She is, yeah. Her name is Lexi. L -E oh, Lexi, I'm sorry. Lexi. Awesome job, Lexi. Lexi. You're a rock star. <laughs> I always, I'm always waving at Lexi as, as I'm giving them their groceries. <laughs> uh, to be formally introduced. Yes, <laughs> yeah, she loves going to pick up groceries. She looks good oh, every week, don't you? Honey? Yeah. <laughs> you like the co-op, Lexi? Yes. Me yes. too. What's your oh, favorite cool. food? Oh, cool! You got an apron with your name on it. Hey, boy. The bread is your favorite. The I bread. Oh. Yeah. I like bread too. <laughs> the, bread. Right, no. the, uh, the, the sourdough. It's the sourdough batar. That's your favorite one. It's the the focaccia. She cannot eat a meal without her focaccia bread. <laughs> are, are we talking Empire Bakery? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I will yeah. not eat we'll a sandwich without Take their sourdough. Oh. <laughs> I had one today. It's so good. I mean, it's like, yeah. I, I woke up with their cranberry walnut sourdough toast for breakfast and had the regular sourdough on my sandwich for lunch. <laughs> So I'm going to start plating, I'm going to start, um, not plating, but what, sorry, the focaccia and all of this bread top, <laughs> it's just not good. You know, sorry. just an FYI, you can turn their um, cranberry walnut into a um, waffle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start um, putting my kickstart in my pancake. Okay, so I am going to scoop a little bit. In. All right, we're making the first the pancake. But what I wanted to do was make sure that what is hot enough. Okay, I'm hearing that sizzle. Nice. And what I do is I spread it out. What size measuring cup do you have there? Cup? Uh, yeah, this is a cup. Good question, Jamie. That's, That's a, cup. a cup. So what I do is um, when I put it in, I like pat it down because it's, I mean, it's, it's really big and it has so much in there. So you want to make sure the middle gets done. Sure. You know? 
Jamar, this is Jackie. Is is the heat at like medium or medium yeah, high? It's medium. Not medium. medium. Not scorching, but just 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 the right. All right. Okay. The right Thank Hot, not scorching. Mm, okay. So you just make it one pan size pancake? Yeah. You cool. can make a pan size. I left room, so I started in the middle and just pushed out a little bit because sometimes when it's you want to be able to get your spatula under under the pancake to flip. And if it's you know, you can make it as thin as you want, but first this is our first pancake, and you are more than welcome to experiment afterwards. Right on. How's everybody doing? Everybody making their first pancake? Cool. Nice mask, Lesky. L Lexi. <laughs> when when do we know uh, when to flip it? So, so as you can tell, as you put it in in your pan with olive oil, it already turns. It has already started turning brown. But what I want to do is. I go around it to move it around in my pan, but you go be a little gentle because you don't want to rip your pancake, but I go around the edges to make sure that my spatula gets all the way around it. And I'm just going to let it cook a little bit. Um, if we wanted to time them, it's like, well, I don't really time pancakes, but when they get crispy brown around the edges and it starts moving inward, then we're going to flip. Okay, cool. Mm. I think mine is almost ready to flip because nice. the oil is popping through the popping through the middle. So I'm gonna flip. Ooh. And I how's it smelling, Jamar? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me I'm gonna move to, I'm gonna pull it off the uh, primer so that we yeah. Awesome. But this is how it's gonna look up. Wait, bring it up. Bring it up. There yeah. you go. Up a little more. There we go. Thank you. So kind of golden. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a little like golden, but it's gonna be a little red because we have the kimchi in there. Oh, sure, sure. Mm. Okay. It and the good thing about us already going ahead and doing our slaw was that as soon as they come out hot. We're gonna drizzle. We're gonna drizzle a little, um, a little organic. Not why did I just say that? We're gonna drizzle a little toasted sesame oil on top, and we're gonna eat with our eyes, right? We're gonna plate. Of course. Okay. Now I can say that I make the. I am, uh, you know, the ultimate pancake maker because <laughs> that flip was legendary. <laughs> You are the awesomest. Okay, we're going to. Alicia, how are y'all doing? How's it looking? Doing good. What do you think, Lexi? Is it looking good? She says it's a little smelly. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might grow to like it's that a new, smell. A new flavor. It's a new flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new flavor. yeah. This is going to be a little different, Lexi. But good for you for yeah, exploring. It's, but... it's good to yeah. explore sometime. A foodie in the making. Awesome. Uh, uh, okay. What was that dance? Hey, this is like that happy dance, okay? We have kimchi pancakes. We have already, already knocked out our um, coleslaw. It's like, yeah, this is what I love. Okay. Nice. Something new, something refreshing, and we're keeping it simple on a Thursday night. Jen asked where your music is. Okay, so I. <laughs> we had a bit of a start this morning. Our technical issues. I think I think it would have probably like throw off the you know, the audio. So, but I still can dance, and they're still playing music in the co Yeah. So. When you dance, Jamar, I hear the music. Okay. So don't stop. 
You know what? I won't. But please, sometimes tell me to stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to. Mm. And as you can see, like the potato starch gives it a different, a different texture than what we're really used to. So Patrick wants to know when we flip the pancakes. Oh, go ahead and flip. If it's golden brown, give it a flip. Golden brown, okay. Are the edges golden brown, Jen? Yeah, okay. flip it. Do the flip. I wish I could like make it go up. <laughs> <laughs> he has flipped. And this is also fun. I mean, kids can eat this. It's just a fun thing. Definitely. Okay, I'm on to my second one. All right. When you get a chance, maybe show us what the first one looks like. Oh, of course I will. Thank you. Now that one is going to be a Oh, little... nice work, Lexi. Oh. You are a little cook. Not just in the making, you are one. You're a professional. Definitely. So this is how mine look. Okay, so it looks kind of golden colored. It's golden with some red specks in it. Nice. Hi. I'm doing good. For those who don't know, Jamar is cooking at the co-op and customers can see him. Oh wow, Jamie. Hey, oh. and and please uh, don't forget to send us pictures of your pancakes. Yes, in next next cooking, our next cooking class is going to be a special one. The co-op is celebrating its 50th anniversary, and the theme is 50 years of growing community. So you want you would, if you thought this was a fun one, you want to be here next month, okay? gonna have a little surprise i can't tell you you just gotta be here but be ready to take pictures and possibly win a prize yes all oh, right so if you are a frequent if you're no, a frequent 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 i'm gonna give you one to maybe she's one all month we're gonna have co-op trivia we're gonna have giveaways we're gonna have all kinds of stuff yeah like did you mention the coloring contest oh so the coloring contest, I'm so excited because I actually just got them got them here today. And it yeah, the coloring contest is for it's an all ages coloring contest. And so um it's gonna be you can pick up at Coos Bay Public okay. Library, it's gonna be one band of public library is gonna be the second pickup, and of course you can pick up here at the co-op. But it okay. is, the coloring sheet is amazing. I'll, I'll get it high <laughs> Oh no, I can put it in here. Oh, you ready to color, Lexi? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to pick up your coloring sheet at the co-op, the Coos Bay Library, or the Bandon Library. Thank you guys. This was so fun, Jamar. We'll be back next month. Right on, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, please don't let your food get cold. If you're ready to eat, go for it. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you, Jamar. We had fun. Yeah, thank you. Send hey, me your photo. Yes, please, thank Jamie. Those look awesome. I only changed one thing. I just, uh, we baked ours kind of. We didn't do it in the frying the oil, just to save oh, a little oil. Nice. That's a good idea. What's your daughter's name that keeps jumping up and down? That's Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> you guys enjoy your dinner. <laughs> All right. Hi. Thanks, All you guys. Right. Thank you, Jamar. I had a good time. I'm going to start cooking tomorrow. Awesome. Always a pleasure, Wendy. See you next time. Hey, definitely, Wendy. <laughs> and Jamie and Dana aren't going anywhere till they see your plated version, of course. Oh, yes. The Jen and I are going to put some finishing touches on this bad boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Why? Why you did it? You did not try. You successfully did it. <laughs> I think I could have done better, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> so I have a lot of them. I'm probably gonna cook a whole bunch. But 
And uh, those of you that are new tonight, I probably should have said this earlier. Um, we, we have the past seven months of community cooking with the co-op on the library's uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to look at our past recipes, they're all there with the ingredients and everything you need to make them on your own. Hey. Here he goes. Okay, thank you, Paul and Jamar. Thank Thanks, you. Susan. You have a great night. Yeah, because of the potato stock, it's a little sticky, which is really, really good. We love that. We want that. <laughs> My coworkers were like, right back at you, Lexi. <laughs> My coworkers were like, tomorrow, um, yeah, we cannot wait. I love that. They're like, we love working on Thursday night. <laughs> Especially the fourth Thursday of the month. Right, right. <laughs> okay. So I have mine right here. I definitely sign up for that shift. Let me go ahead. I got it. I'm about to play it up, but I just have to put one more <laughs> in here. Okay. So a part of cooking with community is being able to eat with your eyes, right? So of course. we have the toasted sesame oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle some on top of my, on top of my kimchi pancake. Before the slaw? Yeah, I'm going to okay. drizzle some before the slaw. Just Give it a little accent. And if you have any more, if you have your toasted sesame seeds. Sprinkle a little on there? Yes. Ooh, okay. Sprinkle some. Okay. Now we're going to slaw time. It's definitely slaw time. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'll put it in the middle. I think these have to be the crunchiest pancakes I've ever seen. But they're really not too crunchy. Not even with the cabbage? Well, that was the whole point. So with the um, when you add the vinegar with the salt, it kind of breaks down the crunchiness. Oh, OK. So I have green onion. <laughs> Jamie said crunchy like hippie or crunchy like texture. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of both. Whatever you like, Jamie. <laughs> Whatever okay. crunch floats your boat. <laughs> What's that finish, finishing touch you're putting on there? Well, I'm putting a little, a little um, cilantro on top. And Ooh, I'm okay. Wipe around my plate. So that That's if you can handle a little extra cilantro, Jen. <laughs> Patrick's like, yeah. <laughs> I have to put my other in I'm a fan of lots of cilantro. Wait, Cindy, did you just show us your plate? I missed it. Do it again. You're muted. Oh, nice. Send us a pic. Wait, Jamar, let me go to speaker. Here, pull it up a little. Nice. Oh, man. Like and it's already hot. So say for instance, if we would have did it the other way around, right? You would have you would have been putting your coleslaw onto a onto a cold kimchi pancake. No so, good. Yep. Smart to make the slaw first. Yum. Oh my god. And I've managed to make two. Pull it up. Nice. Oh man, that looks beautiful. Good job. Once again. So I have another one. And this is like, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, it does. <laughs> 
Jen says, uh, pancakes have different textures in different cultures. This jives with what we experienced in Southeast Asia. Cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they are travelers. <laughs> they are travelers. Well, right, I Lexi used to think you're going to go eat. All oh, right. Thanks, know. Alicia and Lexi. Thank you guys you. have a great night. So if, good, if you can, too. take a picture and email it to us. You should have it's my email done. in the Zoom invite. Okay. Already Thanks, done. Thanks, guys. Hey. Bye. Bye, Jamar. We'll see you soon. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye, Lexi. Bye, Lexi. You know, this reminds me, we used to have uh, Japanese exchange students, and it reminds me of okonomiyaki. Mm. Is so that anyway, a dish? Yeah, it's like a, but they put like shrimp in pancakes and Ooh. had cabbage and stuff in there too. Mm hmm we're going to try it tomorrow. So thanks, Jamar. Thanks. Hey, no problem. Yeah, and if no you problem. have any questions, you can call me at the co-op and I can answer any other questions that you may have. Awesome. Yeah. And probably by Saturday or Monday, I should have the recording of this on the Coos Bay Library's YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube and search Coos Bay Library, you'll see all the community cooking videos. Oh, okay. We'll do that. I have hey, the day off tomorrow, though, so I won't be posting it till Saturday or Monday. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming. You guys have a great night. <laughs> hey. Hello. How did y'all, how did everybody else, Jen, have you played it yet? We haven't played it yet. We're still, but we have them. We're going to plate one All right. and hi, Cindy. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> You're muted, Cindy. Yeah. Okay. So here I, I, I moved the slaw on top of those. Bring it up a little. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. I'm just cooking all the pancakes, you know, clean sure. pan <laughs> <laughs> look, look at hers. Look at Cindy's. Oh. Sorry, we're plating. Hold on a second here. <laughs> cool. We're not going anywhere. I have to take one more. Are they beating down the doors for pancakes, Jamar? They do not know. They don't know that it's done. Hello. Oh, shh. sorry. <laughs> Do we fold it over or do we just leave it kind of like? Uh, if you want to, you can fold it over if it's. If, if, Okay, whatever we want, basically. Just make it pretty and send you a picture. Yes, please. Take a photo, Take a photo with, the, um, with the hot sauce in the background. <laughs> Always the hot sauce, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, we will do that. All right. Thanks, Thanks you guys. Fun. This was really fun, and I'm so excited to eat this. Awesome. Enjoy. Thanks for coming, y'all, as always. Thanks, Paul and Jamar. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great night. Thank you. All right.